All right, guys, episode number 278, 278 episodes. In this one, I'm going to share with you a dollar bin that I bought. So there's, I would guess, 3,500 cards that I got for 100 bucks. Um, that's less than, let's say, less than three cents a card, something like that. I took out probably about 30 to 40 cards. Some of them were labeled like this, and I thought it was two for a dollar, but two is just the barking he had for his show. I'm not sure exactly, but so at 50 cents, probably wouldn't be a good buy, but when you're getting them for three cents a piece, you, yeah, you can't go wrong. This is probably one of the better buys I've made in a long time. Um, this one, I think, just looking out a few, remembering what's in here, I think $200, would have been more than fair, but he just threw out numbers, so kind of went with that. So Willie Stargell, Adam Duvall, Cattell Marte. A lot of these are inserts or parallels. So that's like a red parallel. That's the black parallel. We got Dan Heron, just a little bit older card, number to four ninety nine. This will be a longer video, so grab something to eat, grab something to drink, and sit down and enjoy. Got Nolan Ryan, Shane Bieber. Got some minis. Not sure if those are the rare short prints or not. Johnny Mays. Got some more minis here. Carlton Fisk. Team leaders card from like 92 or 93. Got a Nolan Ryan flashback. Juan Soto. So anytime they have stickers on there, I'll have to take them out and put them in new ones if they are worthy of that. Red Burrow Border. Carl Yaz Skrimsky, another Yaz, Miguel Cabrera, that's a cool combo. Ted Williams, that's one of the parallels, that's the groove parallel. Aaron Judge, for a dollar, that was kind of borderline whether to buy it. If it was 75 cents, I would buy it. Let's see, we got a foil rookie, Barry Bonds. So if you like baseball, if you like some of the older all-time players, there's definitely gonna be a lot of cards you like here. Tony Gwynn. So I'm not gonna find any commons in here. So whenever I get commons, I put them in fly rate boxes. And I have a buyer that buys 5,000 commons for five bucks and he re reuses the medium flat rate boxes on eBay. There's Ronnie Mauriciano. Sold some of his Chrome rookies a couple days ago. Didn't know much about him when I went to the sale about a month ago. So they got all these from the Nerdin' Out sale. There's only one person selling cards. And I think I bought 80% of his inventory there. He's moving to Nebraska, maybe, if I remember right. Mike Piazza, Hall of Gold, like 95. Great stuff so far. I think 10 cents a piece would have been a close to go for a deal. There's, I mean, all of its inserts, parallels, and rookies. Not sure what he does with all the base there that are not in here. It's a cool refra refractor die cut. Not worth much. So I would say a majority of these cards are 50 cents to $4. Some dealers wouldn't touch this stuff because it takes a long time to move. But I like it. I haven't seen that one. Black Aces. Boys of Zimmer. Soto. I love the older, probably 2000 finest, maybe. Both flows red. And there's one stuck to it. I'll skip it. Stand the man and Nolan Ryan. Piles are going to get a little tipsy. Here's a stadium club box topper of Mookie. Let's see, maybe we'll do this. So 
it's only gonna help so much. Robin Yacht. I know my friend Paul would have bought this box for a hundred bucks, but I went when it was towards the end of the sale and he wanted to clear things out. I think my friend Paul would have paid 150 for the box. Just like me, I would have paid 150 for it for sure. Each year old. It adds up. A lot of these players, I mean, put them in lots and they sell for a quarter a piece. Even at that, it adds up. That's great stuff in here. Bomb squad, sweet insert. I think it's like Walmart purple, maybe. And the star is the parallel, so one in three sets when you buy factory sets from Walmart and Target, and one in three are the, the stars there. So in 2021, I think they were blue stars. Last year, they were gray or brown stars, something like that. Another early Piazza, Renato. Just seeing if that's numbered. So the silver ones are from the hot boxes. So I think one in eight boxes, all the cards are foil looking. Base cards about double the value when you hit those. So these two are in a box set. It's kind of cool, two best cards from that set, I think. More minis, sweet. Minis and lots sell for about 50 cents a piece. If the stars are still in there, Reese Hoskins. We have a meatball sandwich. Because why not? We got a burger. We got a dog coming up. Ellen and Ginter in there, odd cards. They have a teacher card in this year's Allen and Ginter. It's the groove again. So groove are the circles, I guess. Alec Baum rookie. So those are the 92 design. Those are cool sets. I think it's from our archives, maybe. Postcard insert. I think even penny sleeves with stickers on them I could even sell on eBay if I had a couple thousand of them. That's a good one. First day issue, these are a rare parallel back in 94. I think something like this would sell for $3. Free shipping on eBay. I like this set because it's Trout's year. It's update too. Stars of MLB are only retail, but they are all over the retail product. You might get 10 of those in a blaster box. The new tops is featuring this design for the jumbo cards and hobby boxes. Tops Archive was a cool set. It always did the first card, their rookie, and their last card of tops. So those three were their last card. And that's Dwight Evans' last card. Another Derek Jeter, another Trout. The bad thing about penny sleeves is they're slippery. Another Judge, another Trout. Oh, hey, babe. Got some greats here. I'll have to check to see if any of these are short prints. Okay, so that's these are short prints. So the common players, he must have realized they're short prints. That's cool. 
Ripken, Trout, Tani, Tatis, Soto. So even this must be a short print if it's above 300. Yep. Yeah, these are these are big names. So there's basketball and football in here. We just have only done the baseball row so far. So is there any cards so far that you would buy for a dollar or I think it was 15 for $10? Can't go wrong with the judge cards. They go on eBay for about 150 a piece and lots of 30. With tiny lots go for 45 for 30 different. So I'll have enough with Tani's to make two more lots. I think it's safe to say there's 60 Otani's in here. Between this box and another one of those 45,000 card lots. Some people might, when they sell on eBay, sell the lower end stuff first, but it's hard not to list and sell players like Otani because there's buyers. A lot of players in the major leagues have had two great seasons and then fall off and are not relevant anymore. So since Otani's hot, I'm selling them. I'm not holding on to them. Would you guys call that a Wander rookie? I do. Doesn't have the rookie logo, but... Is that Frank Robinson's last year? Oh, that's a different set. That's all-time greats, not archives. Always love the postcards. Don Zimmer. I think these are going for a stupid price on eBay for a little bit. Don't know why. If you know why, let me know. There might even be nothing to it. Judge. I haven't dug in my old timers box, but I eventually should do 30 different Babe Ruth and 30 different Clemente cards. I know the Clemente would sell for sure. Another Otani, Nolan Ryan. Why is this in here? That might be the only one that's common. I don't think there's anything special about this one. Uh, maybe it's an old logo. I'll have to check on that one. Yeah, because everything else, there's a reason why it's in here. Like, that's a short print. That's uh, not a short print, but maybe it is an image variation. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look closer off camera. It's already going to be a really long video. I might just break it into two parts. If we're at 14 minutes already, we haven't finished a row. All right, last stack of this row. Soto. I don't think I've seen this one. Oh, it's in the high number series, that's why. Judge, Trout, Otani, Nolan Ryan. I love it. Looks like there's some basketball in this row, too. We got a, well, Bobby Witt's in the picture, but MJ Melendez rookie debut. Julio Franco rookie. Ed Howard prospect. Kyle Wright just listed some of his rookies. Looks like he's on the DL to start the year. It's a refractor, you can barely tell. He was a great closer for a while. Kyle Raleigh. It's out of the Tops Traded set. It's one of the bigger names there. Carl Crawford, 99 Tops Traded as well. All right, that's a baseball best from 89 Downers. Another traded Pat Burrell. 
for a Seager rookie. CJ Abrams. Alonzo Prospect. Yeah, I know Paul looked through this box and he pulled out some cards that we have similar taste. He's a first baseman for Boston. Should be making an impact this year. Alec Thomas. Johnny Damon, minor league tops prospect card. Say Suzuki, that one's numbered, number 3,000. 89, rookie of Biggio, Will Smith rookie. Gary Sanchez rookie. Mike Mussina rookie, Biggio. There's some good rookies, I would've pulled that one for a buck probably. No, and I'll get a little discount on buying more. So at the very end, I'll show you what I originally took out. O'Neill Cruz, I would have taken that one out. I just sold six of his top rookies about an hour ago. Giambi, I know I have this listed. I should add one more. Jay Bruce. Bruce. You know, one million Cubs collects Ethan Roberts. I think he was even on his channel. rookies here. Howard Johnson, I assume that's a rookie. The focus isn't working very good. There you go. A lot of capstone. Jason Bay prospect, O'Neill Cruz rookie. I'm sure this was a five, six star card at one point. Manny Ramirez, Ozzy Elbies. Probably have 30 of that card. Raul Abanez. Rookie card. Paul Carnero. Fleer Excel Minor League. Lariano rookie. That was a hot card for a little bit. Like 2008, I think. Riley Green. Cal Rally. Yep, great value here. I like the fourth Biggio rookie. Another Bagwell. O'Neill. Rookie. Sheffield Rookie. Refractor. Not bad at all. Come on, let's stay. Yeah, this has been sitting in my car for like four weeks. Alright. Oh, there it goes. I 
sort of the limit of the longest video you can post on YouTube. It used to be 10 minutes. Bunch of golds, I'll take that. It must be numbered 500. Nine, nine. Ooh, we got some basketball now. Suggs. Come on, focus. Sharif, is that numbered? Yeah, 175. I think I saw those, but I put them back. Numbered uh, 100. I had my dad take a bunch of pictures. I think it's probably 50 cards. Some of the 40s and 50s Bowman baseball cards, some singles, and a bunch of common autos, or not common autos, uh, common numbered cards and inserts, low numbered cards for baseball. So the pictures are taken. I just got to figure out what the comps are of that card and then make the listing and post it. I might get to that today or tomorrow. We'll see. It's a cool Allen Iverson. This is the new hoops. So he's been opening newer stuff too. It's another newer product, Mosaic 2022. Panini is quite delayed. So they're still coming out with 2022 products. Even I think some hockey stuff is from 2021. Over to 299. A card like that, I think I could list for three dollars. I think it'd sell. Numbered rookie, same thing. I don't know if I'll take the time to do it for these, but maybe. Die cut numbered and rookie. That might be worth it. All right, let's finish up this row and then we'll end it. So this is the last stack we'll do for this video. I'll end the video and then I'll start recording the next one. Probably for a next day. I can get these recorded before my kids come home. If you're new to the channel, I'm single dad, started fostering, and then adopted three kids. So I've had them for a bunch of LeBrons, cool. I've had them living with me for five and a half years now. Crazy how quick that went. Got that one as well in the last one. More WNBA, I'll take it. All right, so that's two out of the five rows, and you haven't seen the ones that I originally picked out, too, which I'd like to think are some of the better ones. Let's put those in so they don't fall. All right, that's it for this one. Heck of a deal, for sure. I think I would have paid $100 for the cards you saw in the video. That ends up being about... $40 I paid for what you saw here. 
All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.